Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? Yay, some of my favorite cards are resurrected. I found them in a package <laughs> under a box in a container. <laughs> so I'm really excited. This is one of my favorite cards, the stop and breathe. Anytime that life's rolling a little too fast, a little one too many things are coming at us emotionally or otherwise, if we just stop Breathing is one of our most, most immediate, immediate good fix-alls when we take that deep cleansing breath. Because our body is so regulated by breath that when we slow everything down, our mind and our heart, everything's going, oh, it's okay. I'm breathing nice and slowly. It's almost like I'm getting ready to go to sleep. There's nothing to be unnerved about. It really is a beautiful curative method to calm a racing mind, you know, or, or a racing heartbeat. Just stop and breathe. Reality is shaped by what we believe. And when we take a deep breath, we reassess and we're able to realign and let go of what doesn't help the situation. One thing I also do if people are bickering or, so, or there's heightened emotions, I completely stop talking and I just observe, I observe like body language. You can tell if somebody's getting more aggressive, if everybody has their arm crossed over their heart, they're not really listening. All these little things we observe and we breathe and we can look for the perfect phrase that is calming for other people, you know, to not heighten the situation and or physically take a step back so we're not in that energy of conflict or directly after there's a close call, whether somebody's driving crazily, or you almost trip and fall down a stair, whatever, that we stop and we pause in between so we can recalibrate and reconfigure so we feel nice and calm in anything. I also like to do this the moment I wake up. I start with gratitude and I do deep cleansing breaths. It's super calming and reminds us we do not need to produce, produce, go, 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 or race into anything. We are a valuable energy source to ourselves and to others and we deserve to be slow and steady also when i go on walks and things i try to purposely slow my breathing it helps me be present more and also observe everything i'm seeing all the birds the little kids the dogs there's something that lets us know that oh we can have all these meaningful beautiful visual interactions or meaningful conversations, spiritual connections, if we slow it all down. And the next one with, ex you know, exercise gratitude. Everyone is a co-creator in this shared life. Gratitude for all things overcomes our resistance to challenges and spurs growth. Absolutely. When we come from a place of gratitude, here's the interesting thing about our mind and our heart. It really doesn't experience two conflicting emotions at once. So if we're experiencing gratitude, usually the things that come with that are joy, um, higher vibrations, optimism, all of those things. So those lower vibrations of fear, wanting, um, anything, jealousy, they dissipate because the higher frequencies are coming in. Gratitude just really brings that in. I did this for the last few days out loud to myself, I, I stopped and I got gas and I was like, thank you universe for the fact that I have a car to take my son to college and me to go places whenever I want and having the money to pay for this gas and having a great vocation and wonderful clients. So I can, you know, go get a veggie burger at lunch and walk in the park, all of those things, each little thing. And the more things that I mentioned, really the happier and lighter I felt, I felt really, really abundant voicing those things out loud you know you ever drive by a bus stop when it's like snowing or raining and people that have to stand out in that terrible weather and wait for public transport of course i'm going to be gratitude have gratitude for a car and sometimes we forget those things just because we've had them a while that they are really special and the number one thing that i like to exercise gratitude is for the people in my life all my beautiful family members my amazing clients and friends my crazy animals every just everyone out there that when i think about them brings a smile to my face think of your one of your favorite people oftentimes 
if I'm just watching a child at the beach or in the park, that is the return of gratitude because they're so happy over a butterfly, over a beautiful kite flying in the sky, and it reminds us there are all these wonderful things out there for sure. Now, I love sh you know sharing light. Share your trials as well as your triumphs. Your stories benefit you in the retelling and others in the healing, spreading the light of transformation. One of the things I found beginning this channel that everybody found so many relatable things and it opened up wonderful discussions because if we're just telling everybody all our wins and all of these things, it makes us kind of one dimensional. But we definitely we have people in our family that we love that could have illness or they have passed on. We could have pets that are, are you know, sick or getting older. We can have, you know, just problems with our homes and pipelines or whatever, water natural things and it makes a broader spectrum of conversation when we're more three-dimensional you know we have super wunderbar days that are fantastic you know we have our operative days where we're, we're just doing what we do you know we are cleaning our homes and doing our laundry and picking up friends family from school and work and things of that nature and feeding our pets and then we have these challenges you know we might have to go to the DMV and there's a line out to next Tuesday. And that that's one thing that I really do like social media for is that we can get out there and we can share the light that, hey, I experienced this, but guess what? I came out the other side. It's sharing those connections. It's that reciprocal energy. It's healthy perspectives, all of these things. And also if we have these favorable opportunities that we have just found are really helpful for us to share those as well, you know? But I, I love this stop and breathe. Just let your body relax and feel good and exercise a little gratitude, a little thankfulness. And then, you know, sh share. The number one thing that lifts me is feeling like I can converse with somebody that has a little empathy and understanding and they're right there with me. So hang on to those people and, you know, find those kindreds because it's important that we do have um, reciprocity and relationships and we are able to share both good and bad things that happen and find our way through you know we have a lot more similarities with people out there than sometimes we even imagine and I feel like relationships can be beautiful spiritual connections when we're talking about family and love and growth and this time of year it's like planting gardens and going for beautiful walks a spring is really a beautiful time to get ready for the bright and the light and the sunny and the wonderful for sure. So my beauties, that is what you were meant to hear today. I hope you all have a great day. Love and light.